In today's video, we're going to be talking about can TMS therapy be done at home? With me today, I have Dr. Kevin Murphy. Doc, can you tell us a little bit about who you are? Thanks, Kyle. Uh, yes, um, I'm an oncologist by training, uh, specializing in pediatric and adult brain tumors with a process called radiosurgery. In the last 10 years, I've spent time working on a personalized approach to transcranial magnetic stimulation. So, doctor, can TMS therapy be done at home? Uh, it's, a, it's a practice of medicine. Okay. The devices are actually medical devices that require a physician mm -hmm. and technicians that are trained to deliver the TMS. So we don't see this being a home remedy, right. at least in its current form. Okay. So whether, whether it's our personalized approach to treatment or whether it's a standardized approach, you're, you're causing brain stimulation using devices that are, that are medical devices. Okay. And that requires really an office setting and a physician of record overseeing the care. Right. Yeah. A professional watching over you. True. It Not might just be at home zapping your own brain. True. It might be that someday these devices get smaller. That was my next question. Yeah. And they, do you and, see this going to an at home therapy at some point? Yeah. I think in, in our lifetime. I okay. think there's going to be a, a series of, of smaller units that probably could become declassified. Okay. As instead of being a class two device by the FDA ultimately towards a class one device. And this happens a lot in medicine. Devices come out, they're, they're considered risky until they're not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When they're not considered risky and years have gone by, you start to see a lessening of the, of the uh, um, profile of the, for the FDA. And, and they, they can, you'll start seeing things that were once a medical device become an at-home device. Okay. But at the moment, we don't, we, that's not something that I think is in the near future. Do you think it's something that should be coming? Or is this something that should be done by a physician or a technician in a clinic done by professionals? Yes, I would say for the moment, you want to find a, a clinic that is, is expert at, at doing this. Yeah. A physician of record who is comfortable treating various uh, disorders. Um, most of this is that, that you need monitoring. Yeah. And it's hard to monitor yourself the way a doctor could and way a staff, properly, a least, properly right? staff could. Uh, and that's why we also like uh, what I do is a bit different than standard TMS. Okay. So we personalize the TMS and we do that by an electroencephalogram and the electroencephalogram takes a picture of all 19 brain locations Okay. and tells us the patient's brain state every week and are they responding or not right. to our therapy. And that's something we need in office setting and uh, technicians to perform at right. the moment. There'll be a day when that's something that they would, that's going to be a home device at some point. Okay. Or it would be a hope of mine that we can get more people access to this. Hey, guys, if you found that video helpful, do me a favor. Click on this one right here. You'll really enjoy it. Did you click it? Click on it. You're going to love it.